Hi, my name is Ankit Patel and I'm the product manager at Black Magic. I am responsible for the ATEM production switchers and what we have here is the ATEM 1ME production switcher and broadcast panel. The switcher itself is available for $2,500 and let's go over here and take a look at the actual switcher panel. So what we have on the switcher is we have eight inputs. The first input is HDMI and S the HDMI and analog component. Input 2, 3, 4 are HDMI. Input 5, 6, 7, 8 are SDI. So what you end up having is four SDI inputs and four HDMI inputs where one of them can flip to analog. On the output side, you have program output in every flavor of uh, I.O., every format available. So you have HDSDI, SDSDI, analog component, uh, HDMI, and uh, I'm sure I forgot one, and composite. So all of those come out simultaneously. Now, in addition to the program output, you also have three auxiliary outputs. And those three are basically three aux buses that you can assign anything to. The aux buses are great for sending program or sending uh, video to your side screens or things like that. So you can do cuts on those side screens or have them match the center screen. Uh, there's also a multi-viewer which comes out in both HDMI and SDI. So the, because it comes out SDI, you can just connect an inexpensive HDMI television to have your multi-viewer. And now let's get back over here to the actual switcher. And you can take a look. That's what the multi-viewer output looks like. And then what we have here now, let's talk about the actual control of the switcher. With the $2,500, we give you the control software. And this is the software that runs on a Mac or PC. And it basically works in conjunction with the panel. The switcher and the panel are connected over Ethernet. And the computer can connect to your switcher over Ethernet, just IP settings. Once the switcher is set up over Ethernet, you have full control of your switcher here. And this looks exactly like the panel. But you also have the settings tab. This is where you configure your multi-viewer. For example, if you wanted to change what goes into one of these inputs, you can go in and take a shot here. Say I wanted to change this multi-viewer to be camera five, four. I can just change that to camera four. And my multi-viewer updates dynamically. You can change the layout of your multi-viewer and you can name your sources as well. Uh, then we go on to the actual switcher tab and the switcher tab is where you actually run the switcher. You can, you can use the mouse for example to go through pro pr to select on the preview bus to select on the program bus or to auto and you can use it to cut and you can also use it for selecting your transition types and picking auto as well. Now, you can, in addition to picking uh, using the mouse, you can also use the keyboard shortcuts. So you have keyboard shortcuts like one, two, three, four, which basically change the preview bus, shift, and the button changes the program bus. And basically with this, it's very easy to use, for example, when you're cutting to music or something like that. Instead of trying to mouse between the buttons, you can use the keyboard to use your hands to cut between the different cameras. Now once, if, you know, you can start off with the switcher and the software, and then at a certain point, if you feel like you need to have a faster, more robust panel, then you can move on to the broadcast panel. Now the broadcast panel is a $5,000 option. It connects over ethernet, again, just like the, the software panel, and lets you control the switcher. Very similar to the panel that we saw on the software, you have your preview bus, you have your program bus, and what's nice is you also have this fader bar that you can use to do your mix transitions, your wipe transitions. You have a joystick which you can use to move around and position the DVE, and you have hard buttons that you can actually control. Overall, the switcher is very easy to use, and you can get into it for an affordable price point.